Scroll has launched Sepolia Test Network just a while ago. Sepolia Test Network is the beta phase before the actual mainnet launches. So the mainnet was supposed to launch in August of 2023, but it got moved a little bit and the expected date is by the end of 2023. So in my previous airdrop tutorial, I was telling you guys how you can potentially qualify using Scroll Alpha Testnet. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use Sepolia Testnet to potentially qualify for this airdrop. So let's get started. So there is no more scroll alpha testnet. Now we're going to use Sepolia testnet. And if you followed my previous airdrop tutorial, it's going to be very similar, but it's going to be shorter and we're just going to have to use some different URLs to complete this tutorial. So if it's your first time using scroll testnet, then the first thing that I always suggest you do is step one, join Discord and Twitter. Here I provided the links. If you haven't seen my previous video, then go ahead and click on the link and join the Discord and then go ahead, click on this Twitter link and join their Twitter as well. Now, step number two is gonna be optional. This is for those who actually did some actions on the alpha testnet. So this is going to be to remove alpha testnet and reset your MetaMask wallet if needed. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your MetaMask wallet. And by the way, I don't need to do that because I'm on the new laptop, so I just imported my wallet. But if you use your wallet with Scroll Alpha Testnet, that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna go to your MetaMask. Once you're in your MetaMask, you're gonna click on three dot menu or four dot menu. And then you're gonna click on settings. You're gonna scroll down until you see networks and you're gonna click on network and click on any network. Let's pretend that this is alpha testnet. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna open in the browser. Once you're in the browser, you're gonna select whatever network you wanna choose except for the ones that are locked. You can't remove those, but let's pretend that this is scroll alpha testnet. What you're gonna do, you're just gonna click delete right here. After that, you're basically good to go to step number three. But if you see some errors, you're gonna need to reset your MetaMask. So what you need to do, you're gonna go through this URL and it's gonna to take you to this page and here are the common errors that you might see when you're removing the old network and adding the new one so if that happens just follow whatever it says over here and hopefully you won't see any errors anymore step number three if it's your first time doing this airdrop tutorial then you're gonna need a wallet if you already have one if you don't then go to metamask.io right over here click download and click install metamask for whatever browser you're using and after that go through the setup process for your metamask after that we're going to need to add sepolia test networks for ethereum and for scroll as well so there are multiple ways to do that but the easiest is probably going to be going to the scroll portal so what you're going to do you're going to go through this link, which is scroll.io forward slash portal. Over here in the top right corner, you're gonna click connect wallet and you're gonna select your wallet. Click next and connect. After that, scroll a little bit down and over here you will see that you have two networks, Ethereum Sepolia and Scroll Sepolia and click add to MetaMask for both. After you click it, you're gonna have MetaMask pop up and you're just gonna confirm adding to MetaMask. I already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Moving on to step number four. Now, since we're on Sepolia network, we're gonna have to have some ETH for gas on Sepolia network and also for bridging and swapping. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through this link, which is sepoliafaucet.com. And over here, the first thing that you need to do, you need to log in with your Alchemy account. If you don't have one, just sign up. Otherwise, just click Alchemy Login and log in with your credentials or click sign up right over here if you don't have an account. It's pretty simple to set it up. All right, once logged in, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on the MetaMask, you're gonna copy your wallet address and you're gonna paste it right over here. You're gonna click I'm not a robot, you're gonna pass the test and you're gonna click send me E. And you should see the screen looking like this and it's gonna say that you're gonna get 0.5 Sepolia ETH. And you can request 0.5 Sepolia ETH every day or probably every 24 hours, I should say. Now that we have Sepolia ETH, we're gonna to move to step number five, and that's gonna be to bridge some ETH from Sepolia network to scroll Sepolia network. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through this link, which is scroll.io forward slash bridge. And since we're already connected to scroll.io website, it should be connected, but if it's not, just click right over here, connect wallet and select your wallet. And so we're gonna scroll down and over here, we're gonna have the bridge, so if it's your first time using this bridge, you should have Ethereum right over here and Sepolia right over here. I used it before, so that way it looks like this for me, but you can just switch it back to Ethereum to send from to Sepolia scroll network. So it's asking me to switch to Sepolia network from scroll Sepolia network. So if you're not on Sepolia network, make sure that you're on Sepolia network first. After that, you're gonna enter some amount that you wanna bridge, let's say point five 
and you're gonna click send ETH to scroll Cipollian. Click confirm, and as you can see, it might fail for me, it failed, but don't worry, you can try again, just do the same. And when you click send ETH, and over here what we can do where it says gas, we can increase the gas limit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on market and we can choose instead of market, we can select aggressive. After that, hit confirm. As you can see, send from Ethereum is success. All right guys, so I'm not gonna wait for it to finish because it's gonna take a little longer. I'm just gonna move on with this tutorial. The next step is gonna be the step number six and we're gonna bridge the funds over in the opposite direction. So back on the bridge page, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click this switch button and it's going to switch the network from scroll Cipolia to ethereum Cipolia. so let's click switch network in the metamask enter whatever amount of ethereum you want to send over the opposite direction but make sure that you enter just a little bit that way you keep most of it in scroll Cipolia. click send eth to ethereum Cipolia. check the check marks and click continue right and the first transaction is success and please note that it takes a while maybe like about 10 minutes i would say and after that, this one is going to be pending. Please check back on this one. Once this is enabled, you'll be able to click claim, confirm in your MetaMask, and then finally it will get deposited to Ethereum Cipolia. As you can see from this transaction right over here, let me quickly show you. As you can see, it says claim. So after you click claim, it gets deposited and shows success right over here. That's when it's actually deposited to Ethereum. Cipolia. The next step and step number seven is going to be to send some ETH on scroll Cipolia to a different address. So if you don't have any address that you know of that you can send to, what you can do, you can just go to the block explorer right over here. You can click view all transactions or you can select any of these transactions and you can click on any transaction. Let's say I click on this one. I can copy any of these addresses. Then you're going to go to MetaMask. I'm going to click send. I'm going to paste this address. I'm going to enter the amount of ETH, just send a small amount of ETH that you want to send and make sure that you're on scroll Cipolia testnet, that you're not on Ethereum Cipolia. So click on next and click confirm and transaction is successful. The next step is going to be step number eight and we're going to use Uniswap interface to swap, wrap and add or remove liquidity. So we're going to go through this link. This is the special URL for scroll. It's going to be Uniswap dash showcase dot cipolia dot scroll dot xyz once you're on this page click connect wallet in the middle and then select your wallet over here you'll see that you only have scroll cipolia there is no other networks so you should be good here and the first thing that we're going to do we're going to wrap some ethereum so in order for us to wrap some ethereum what we're going to do we're going to leave eth right here and from select token we're going to select wrapped ethereum so we're going to put some amount here i would highly suggest that you also use a little bit higher slippage and also increase gas max gas fees that way the transaction is not going to fail so i'm going to click right here and i put five you can put whatever you feel like after that you're going to click wrap and if the transaction is failing for you what you can do you can click on edit right over here and you can change the gas limit so right now it's at thirty-two thousand. you can like bump it up maybe to let's say thirty-five thousand. and the gas price you can also select right now it's at five you can put seven or something like that and after that you're going to hit save and you're going to click confirm and if we open the transaction you can see the transaction was successful so if it fails just increase the gas increase the slippage and you should be good the next step is we're gonna swap it for some other tokens so here they only have gho so we're gonna click on gho again i'm gonna leave the same amount of ethereum you can put whatever amount you want and you're gonna click swap and click confirm swap and hit confirm and transaction completed so click close the next step is going to be to add some liquidity so we're going to click on pool tab right over here and you're going to click new position that select any token so in our case we only have gho so let's click gho over here you're going to select the fee tier so select one percent i would suggest and at the top you have current price 311 so make sure that your minimum price is lower than the current price and your max price is higher than the current price indicated here that way you are going to enable this deposit amount so let's say i'm going to put 200 and 400 after that, as you can see, deposit amounts are enabled. Sometimes if you drop the price, let's say if I drop this price to, let's say 300, it might say that the market price is outside your specified price range, single asset deposit only. So you can deposit single sided, but I suggest that you just do both. So just put this price higher than the current price. Let me put it back to 400. As you can see, both assets are enabled now. So you can put whatever amount, let's say 
0.01. After that, you're going to click preview and you're going to click add. Click confirm and transaction is successful. Click close. So now we're going to remove some liquidity. So you can see your positions right over here. If you don't see, click on pull right over here and you're going to see your positions. Click on one of the positions that you have and click remove liquidity. Choose some amount, let's say 25% and click remove. Click remove, click confirm and success. All right, and the last step is gonna to be to claim the mystery role on guild. So in order for you to do that, you're gonna to have to go through this link and please notice, I believe I need to remove this part because I think they removed the requirement that you need to have your Twitter account open before September 30th, 2022. Now they don't have that requirement, so you should be good to do that. Let me remove it later, but for now, just go through this link. And last time, if I remember correctly, the requirement was to follow them on Twitter to get that role. So in order for you to do this right now, it doesn't say it says some secret requirements, but I believe it might be the same requirement. Check it out. I think you just need to follow them on Twitter. But in order for you to check if you qualify, what you're going to do, you're going to click connect to wallet. You're going to click MetaMask. You're going to click next and connect. Now, after your wallet is connected or somewhat connected in my case, you're going to click join guild to get roles to connect discord and guys i would have finished this tutorial but my computer is not letting me do that as you can see everything is frozen and yeah okay it decided to cooperate so now what you're going to do you're going to click connect to connect your discord over here click authorize right now that it's connected you're going to click check access to join and as you can see it says you have access so i believe the requirement was to follow them on twitter you can check out my previous video but if you don't have probably it's going to tell you what you need to do for me it doesn't say that anymore I believe some yeah some secret requirement I'm not 100 percent sure but i think it was following on twitter check out my previous video for that that's basically the only role i think you can get here because the rest of them are all for people that participate in their hackathons as you can see there are hackathons in different cities around the world and yeah, those are some different roles that you can get if you participate in Hackathon. All right, guys, and that was it for the Scroll Sepoli airdrop tutorial. This is another testnet actions that you can take to potentially qualify for an airdrop if they decide to do it. But if not, then maybe we're going to have to do some mainnet actions later on, but it's probably going to be way cheaper because it's a layer two network. So I'm going to keep you updated on this, but hopefully even the testnet actions are going to qualify us for some airdrop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more stuff like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.